I was still in church and I was still serving. I was on my worship team and I played piano. I had this mask of God loves me and I'm a Christian and um, I love church and I love being there but actually inside my whole world was falling apart because I felt just not worth it but nobody knew. I've been brought up by an amazing Christian family. My parents took me to church, me and my brother, every single Sunday even when I really didn't want to go but I never really knew. Um, the God that they were talking about. I knew of him, but I didn't know him. God took me on this journey of finding out who he was when I first made a commitment when I was 12 years old. I would have thought that everything would just be perfect after inviting Jesus into my life, but actually things seemed to go downhill for me. I was painfully shy. A lot of the time I felt like I just wanted to be like everybody else. There was something missing in me um, and I just didn't know who I was. I remember um, hearing about self-harm and, and I thought, I'm going to try that. So I experimented with self-harm. It was a time where I actually felt like I was releasing everything that was going on inside of me. All of my confusion, all of my insecurities, I was just letting it go in that coping mechanism. My mum found my diary and she opened it and she said, what's going on Emily, what's going on? And, and I just cried and I just cried and I was completely exposed. And I remember feeling shameful and I remember feeling guilty because I knew it wasn't right. I got to a place where I was so self-obsessed with the way that I looked. I wanted to lose weight any way that I could so I could be like the girl next to me. First of all, I started not eating, dieting, weighing myself every single day, seeing if the number would change. Then I started to purge, so I started to make myself sick. I remember at the time thinking, this is what I need to do to feel like I've got everything. My mum, she found out about a Christian charity called Mercy Ministries. And Mercy Ministries helps young women who are overcome by life control issues such as self-harm, eating disorders and depression. And she put these resources in my hands and I just, I just devoured them. I just read them and listened to them and I found so much truth in these resources because God was actually speaking to me about who I was and who he was. And it was, through, it was through these resources that God was able to help me take the mask off. I find that everywhere you go there's a mask. People are wearing this mask of um, either everything's okay or um, I'm doing fine or I'm strong or I'm successful. But God really wants us to drop the mask. And God's saying that he wants us to just reveal the real us because he created us to be real. When I was um, in church and when I was putting on the mask of everything's great and God is good and everything's awesome, that actually God took time with me to peel the mask off and he revealed my true broken self. I'm not all good, I'm not all joyful, but it was in that place that actually God got to work on me from the inside out and I was broken and I was vulnerable before God but in that moment he put me back together again. And so I feel like God actually wants to say to us, to come on, it's time to take the mask off, it's time to be real, it's time to be vulnerable, and let me put you back together again. I got in this relationship that was very unhealthy um, it was very controlling and very manipulative. I felt distant from God and I felt um, that I had put a block in between mine and relationship, my relationship with God. One night was a decision and it was a choice to let go of this relationship. And it was difficult and it was hard, but God showed me that I had to make a choice. He showed me that there's better than this, Emily. I've got more for you, Emily. I remember just crying out to God like, I am done God, I am done, this is it. I don't want to seek after ungodly relationships in anymore. I just want a relationship with you. It did start with a choice and it was a decision and 
From then on, I completely recommitted, recommitted myself to God. And so I decided to start up a young women's Bible study and young girls came and they found Jesus and I was able to share my story. And then God said to me, I've got more for you. So I did a psychology degree at university. But actually God gave me the desire of my heart and the dream of my heart, which was to work at Mercy Ministries. And now I work there full time. Um, I work as the home assistant. So I'm able to be with the girls, just be part of their breakthroughs and be part of their miracles every single day.